All right, so we're going to try to convert this. This is in standard form. We're trying to convert it to vertex form. And the way you do that is by what's called completing the square. So let me just tell you the little trick here. Make sure that this is a 1, which it is. The leading coefficient is a 1. If not, you'd have to factor it out. Step 2, take half of whatever this is called B. Take half of it. So half of that is 6. And square it. Add it. And subtract it. Whoops. Not negative 6 squared. Minus. 6 squared. You're adding it and subtracting it to the okay. equation. Oh, okay. Just trust that this is going to work. So when I add it, <laughs> that's 36, right? And when I subtract 36, what's 27 minus 36? Uh, uh, so I've added it and subtracted. Do you see what I did? I added 36 and I subtracted 36. So you added 36. I added 36 to the to the variable exponents oh. and kind of grouped them together. And then I subtracted 36 from the from the constant that was left over. In other words, I'm borrowing 36 to group this together. I'm borrowing 36 from that. Do you understand? What's 36 minus 9? 36 minus 9, that's uh, that's 27, which is right here. Yeah. So I'd, all I'm doing is rewriting this equation. Oh, okay. And I'm doing it in a special way because now this right here, x squared minus 12x plus 36, is going to factor into x minus 6 squared. Yeah. X minus 6 squared, that, that equals x minus 6 squared, and it's x minus 6 squared minus 9. Uh, the way I would, my teacher taught us was like... So another way that people may have taught this to you, so this is what's called vertex form. If, if the, your book teaches you that vertex form is y x minus h squared plus k, that's what I'm showing you. I'm showing you vertex form that looks like this. Some books show you like this. Yeah, that's why I mean. Y minus K equals, and actually you can put an A in front of this because you might have an A, right? X minus H squared. Yeah, that's the one. These are the same thing. Do you see how they're the same thing? Uh, see yeah. how the K's just moved over to the other side? Yeah. Here? They're the same thing. Oh, okay. So what am I doing? What am I doing here? I'm showing you a way that one textbook teaches it. But if your textbook taught you differently, which it seems like yours did, it's a slightly different process. Let me show you. Instead of, instead of adding and yeah, subtracting right. from the same side, yeah. the first step is to move the 27 over to the left. So write y minus 27 equals x squared minus 12x. Yeah. Now, instead of adding and subtracting 36, see, I'm going to add 36 to the right side and add 36 to the left side. Oh, OK. What is 36? Half of tw negative 12 squared, half of it squared. When I do that, I get y plus 9. Plus nine. Now, nine. it's plus 9 Oh yeah. because it would have been on the other side. Does that make sense? Yeah. You get y plus 9 equals, now this factors into x minus 6 squared. It's the same. It's really the same answer. It's just this, was, this one is written in this form. And this one here is written in this form. It depends on how your book teaches you the yeah. form. So if your teacher teaches you this way, then first move everything over. It's, that's fine. I actually like that method better, okay. too. So let's try another example. So let's say we have y equals x squared plus 6x plus 13. So your, your teacher wants you to subtract 13 from both sides. And then... So 6 divided by 2 is 3, 3 mm -hmm. times 3 is 9. Mm -hmm. So add 9 to both sides. So that will be negative um, 4. Y minus 4 equals, how is this going to factor now? Um, X uh, plus 3. Plus 3, squared. exactly. That's oh. why it's called completing the square, the square because you're, cr you're adding something here to make this that perfect square binomial. Oh, I see. That's what you're doing. That's the whole process. So now, if they wanted me to graph this, what I would do is I would see the vertex, right? The vertex oh, yeah. is going to be 
negative 3, it's the opposite of this, and the opposite of this, negative 3, comma 4, is my vertex, and A is 1, which means it which means it's not stretched. So negative 3, 4 would be negative 3, negative 3, 4, and it's going up 1 over 1, left 1 up 1, and it's going up like this. Oh, I see. That makes sense. That's how you graph it.